What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, it's Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. You know I'm an a.k.a. but I'm coming at you today as the Red Herring. I'm dispelling myths, lies, and other fictitious beliefs. And so visit me at all my sites so you see me. You know, I'm going to do the videos. Today I'm going to talk about a touchy subject that has to deal with the NFL, one of my favorite sports in the world. So here we go. Two, three, one. There we go. Tony Dungy. Uh, he's an analyst for, uh, I forget who he's an analyst for. <laughs> no, no, I think it's, uh, yeah, he's an analyst for uh, the ESPN now. But he was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then that was Colts. He got a ring with the uh, Super Bowl ring with the Colts. He was a Steelers defensive back during the Super Bowl years. He backed up Tony, I mean, Donnie Shell, I think. I'm, I'm, I was, like I said, when, when we moved from New York, we moved to the Pittsburgh area. So, we know everybody and her brother was a Steeler fan back in the day. Like I said, out of a household of six, three of us, three of, three of them were Steeler fans. So, it's this guy here. Well, I'm talking about Tony Dungy. He made a statement recently saying how he wouldn't take Michael Sam and when it, he didn't say he would, wouldn't take Michael Sam because he was a homosexual. He said he wouldn't take him because of a hoopla surrounding all this. Now, a lot of pundits and a lot of commentators, you know, they, 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 they hopped on a bandwagon. And I'm going to explain later why they hopped on a the bandwagon. They have hopped on a the bandwagon. They didn't want to roast a guy because they know he's he's good moral character and he's never been in a, had a, been a problem. Like I said, he's a, he's, a, he's a devout Christian religious person. He's a real down to earth human being, and you couldn't, you can't tag him as anything because what he, he's he's an ethics guy. Guys were coming out of the woodwork to defend the guy. What do you think? But what it was is, and you know, and I can't fault the guy. He was saying from a business football standpoint, his philosophy. He did not want something to distract that from the team. Now, again, I say I don't care the dude is like homosexual. The dude to me is a good football prospect. He, he to me he was he, he wasn't a seventh round draft pick I'll admit that one he should have probably been in somewhere in between the third and fifth round but then at the end of the day the chips fell where they may and he got to prove himself now back to Dungy to me Dungy did not say anything wrong he was just speaking on his mind now see and here's what happened a lot of these commentators they're 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 they're, they're, they're dancing and you know they're they're dancing for they're like dancing bears at the circus. Because a lot of these guys got half a million dollar contracts they got to live up to. And a lot, a lot of them are going to go against Tony Dungy outside of what they're saying on the media because they'll be like, you know, they want to keep that money flowing. But I, I do give credit to the people that stuck up for Tony Dungy. Not that he needed stuck up because, like I said, he didn't say anything wrong to begin with, but it's how it's perceived in the media. They stuck up for Tony Dungy. And like I said, he, he pulled some real... I, I appreciate that fact that people did say something to him. I mean, not to him, uh, defending him. Now, you got to understand, that people don't look at it this way. The NFL is a business. And even in businesses, you can't you can't get arrested, you can't wild out, you can't do nothing. And like and if anything distracts from the team, they don't, want, they don't want that. I mean, you're dealing with multi-million dollar players and you're dealing with owners with billions of, like, want billions of dollars and stuff. So it's not that it was a personal thing. I think Tony Dungy just made an accurate call, and you got people saying, and and I hate this, and you and you're gonna always have they're gonna say, well, if it wasn't, they wouldn't have took a risk hiring black players and coaches. That since when did a race become? No offense, I'm gonna say it, and you don't wanna say. When did a race become a, a sin? If you can explain to me. Now, and, and what kills me is all these religious people. There's, there are religious people that are backing what he says, but a lot of you aren't religious.